Adding metadata to SharePoint documents with the SharePoint connector. Hey, I'm Eric. And with the SharePoint connector, we have the ability to enrich documents that are going to SharePoint. Um, we call that extended metadata columns. Well, it has lots of names, but the idea is that because we're, we're suddenly exposing data, we're both creating documents, other systems might need to use those documents, but in some kind, in some cases, they might need some sort of data to go with a document to truly figure out how to handle it. And we have the ability to, to do that with the SharePoint connector. Let me show you how that works. So here is my business central. And the first thing I want to do is go into the, the table mapping. Um, this the SharePoint table mapping. In this case, I just want to use customer. So I, I put the cursor on customer and then hidden here on the more uh, actions, options, we have an option called metadata columns. And uh, what we can do here is that now we're on customer. So we can select a field and we could say the that we want the, the phone number. And on SharePoint, we, not, we want phone number to become a column, uh, a field, that whatever the, the right word is. And let's just realize that it's probably a text. And we will call this uh, BC phone. So now it's created, we'll hit the add column to SharePoint that has now been exported to SharePoint. We can see the small check mark has here. So now that column exists in SharePoint. Uh, if we go to SharePoint and go to documents under customers, let's just choose the first customer. We can go into this one and say add column and we can select show hide more columns. And just you know, ab above my head here, you can see that there's actually a column called PC phone now. So I will select that one and say apply. And we have that column. So let's go back to BC and see what happens. If I go into customers, I select the customer uh, and I pre got all my cute animals here. But before we get to the cute animals, we better actually put in a phone number. So 555, 555. 5557. Five, five, How about that? That's pretty good. Let's see. Do I have phone numbers on anybody else? No. So now we've got a phone number here. So let's get back to the cute animals. And this guy has the baby elephant and the puppies. But how about these two cuties? So now we're uploading those. They look the same. But let's. So it's just another file here. But if we go and check, now we can see that this file that was just uploaded has the phone number on it. Um, and behind the scene, the SharePoint connector tries to look at whatever you, if you're creating a report and the report has a data type and, and we can figure out what is the value and there is a field map, uh, column map for that data type. It tries very hard to figure out all the columns that potentially could be filled out. Um, so that is how you create metadata or add metadata to, uh, to, to, to SharePoint. Quite simple. You map the column and then the SharePoint connector will handle the rest of it. Um, so reach out to us if there's anything we can help you with on the SharePoint connector or try it out yourself and check some of the other videos on how to use the product. Bye.